Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to scrapbook this picture of me holding some makeup products. Um, this is when I was trying to decide whether I was going to start a beauty channel or a scrapbooking channel. Those are two of the things that I'm most um, interested in. Here I have a piece of 12 by 12 Felicity Jane cardstock, and I want to use it, but I don't want to cover up all of the ribbons. So I go ahead and put gesso down and I'm painting the middle of the paper, leaving the outsides. The one thing about this is it turned more yellow than I thought, so I think I'm going to have to go buy some white acrylic paint. Now I'm going through Ellie Edwards' journey kit and looking for some cards that I can journal on and maybe use. I decide on these two journal cards. The one on the right says, grateful for where I'm at excited about where I'm going and the one on the left says the best journeys answer questions that in the beginning you didn't even think to ask. So I'm going to go do a horizontal layout and my journaling says in the past I always wanted to start a YouTube channel but I knew I didn't have the time. Now that the kids are in school five days a week I may start a scrapbooking or makeup channel. I'm going through the kit, Allie Edwards kit, and I find a heart that I want to use, and it says, the blue heart that I find says, I am here. I go ahead and put powder on the back of it so I can move my embellishments around, and it doesn't just stick down. Also, I picked out a chipboard that I have under my picture that says, blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. Now, I'm going through some of the other ephemera that came with the kit and trying to decide what I'm going to use on this particular layout. I'm looking at the alphas from the Felicity Jane kit, and I'm trying to use my fingers to see if I have enough letters to spell YouTube. I decide I'm going to decide on my title later, and I put my picture down on this pink, it's like cut paper, so to add more dimension and texture to my layout. I go ahead and cut it the size of the picture, which is about four by four. And I'm putting the powder tool again behind it so that I can move my pictures around. You'll notice that I make a lot of mistakes and so they have designed repositionable glue adhesive for people like me. <laughs> Now I'm going through some of the scallop punches that I had punched for another layout that I didn't use and going through this sticker and deciding, oh, which one am I going to use? I look through all the different stars. I find a tab that I'm going to put the date on and I'm using the stays on ink because it is the glossy kind of cardstock. So that'll work better and it'll dry better. I'm looking at the different rubber um, triangles and I pick the one that says trust the journey because it is scary for me to start a YouTube channel. I decided the green and white gingham for the or plaid I should say gingham um, to put behind my picture. I cover most of it but it gives a little dimension. So and then I go ahead and stick down the chipboard I decide to go ahead and glue down the triangle that says trust the journey and I'm using Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive and I put the triangle to the top left corner and I'm also going to want to go in a diagonal from top left to bottom right. I think that's one of my favorite ways of doing my design. I put the geotag on my picture and you'll see I'm going to move it here in a second but I'm also looking for things to tuck in behind my picture. I find scraps of paper, like the yellow and white gingham. I also look for um, the pink and white stripes that I put on top of my picture. And you'll see that I just cut them. Um, I don't want everything to end at the exact same spot. I want it to be uneven. Um, and I notice that I haven't even stuck down any of my picture, my picture or the journaling cards yet. So I decide to go ahead and do that. I decide to put pop dots behind my picture to give it more dimension as well and I'm trying to put that pink and white striped paper behind my picture. I usually like to glue on the top and then glue it to the picture instead of down onto the, the main background page. 
just so that I have more flexibility of tucking other things in behind it. So I go ahead and tuck it, uh, glue down the journal card that I journaled on and I put the date underneath it. Now that I think about it, I should have stapled that for extra dimension. Oh well, maybe I'll go do that after I'm done recording. I'm pointing to the diagonal, which is going to be my design on this particular layout. I decide I'm going to use stars as my other embellishment, and I want to put one on the top left, one above my picture, and one on the bottom right. You'll see that I'm going to change my mind a lot in the next few minutes. I decide to put the star down, but am I really going to put it behind the picture and the scallop circle, or what am I going to do? So I'm still looking around for all the different types of embellishments. I finally glue down the journal card, the yellow journal card, but I want to make sure that the scallop circle, the green one, is on top of the journaling card, not behind it. I decide to put the striped star on top and take off the geotag, but I'm going to have to glue the geotag down once again. I keep moving the star around because the uh, type A in me has to have the stripes going horizontally. I decide to put the geotag on top of the star, and then I'm going to finally glue down the patch on the bottom right hand corner that says let's go on an adventure. I also glue down the another star on top of the patch, and then I decide I'm going to glue the star to the top of the triangle that says trust the journey and I have it hanging off a little bit. I don't want it to be exact. I find more scraps and I'm tucking them in behind my picture. I did a yellow and white stripe and then the scallop that I um, fussy cut, I'm cutting down to a size that's smaller than the 4x4 picture so that it doesn't end exactly where the picture ends. I have, go ahead and glue that down. I decide to put some pop dots so that there's more dimension and texture to this page. I'm refluffing the cut paper. I finally decide to put the heart down that says, I am here. I probably should have put that somewhere else, but oh well. Now, after I do all of this, I decide that I want to put a doily down. <laughs> I told you I changed my mind a lot. So do I decide to put the doily down or do I leave it out? What do I do? So I go and find a piece of vellum that has a map on it because this is part of my journey. Now this vellum I got at Hobby Lobby a while ago and I'm just going to freehand cut this piece of vellum to be behind my um, picture. I just wanted to show just a little bit. But you'll notice as I cut this, you can't even see the vellum. Oh, so frustrating. So I take the vellum off and I'm trying to see if it'll still fit. And no, it does not. It does not fit in the way I want. So I have to get another piece of vellum. And this time I decide I'm going to use my Cater Caterpillar Pro on the left. So I go ahead and cut that down to the size I want. And then I decide to glue that part down. But the ATG and I are not friends, so I went and got another adhesive, um, a rolling adhesive, and I just used that. Now I'm putting pop dots, more pop dots. Um, I just like the texture of having shadows and things, whatnot, um, on my layout. So I pop up my picture, and then I'm trying to decide what to do next. I find a yellow chipboard heart chipboard that says wherever you go, go with all your heart. This is a reminder to me to just go for it um, instead of just thinking about it. I have a habit of thinking about things way too long and not implementing on my thoughts so that's just a reminder to me. I'm trying to decide where to put the heart. Should it go under or over the patch and I decide to cut the bottom of the heart and put it just on top of the patch so that it looks like it could be going under. But the patch, when it's up with the heart underneath it, it looked a little funny, so that's why I cut it. I decide to put another uh, white star onto the bottom of my journaling card on the right. I take the letter stickers from the Felicity Jane kit, and I'm going to title mine Just Start. 
Now I just dropped the R onto my picture and this is a picture I printed out at home and it left a mark. So ugh, frustrating. I'm going to have to do reprint out this picture after I put down the title. Now I wanted the title to end um, approximately where my picture ended on the right hand side so that's why I'm going backwards with Just Start. I didn't have to put the dot on top of the J but I go ahead and do that and now I kind of wish I hadn't so that it looks like a capital J but I didn't want the lo lower hanging J, J loop to um, not show. Okay, here you see I printed out another picture, I cut it to 4x4, and now I have to deconstruct this again. Um, again, thank you for repositionable tape, whoever designed that. You can see I'm struggling with getting my picture off. I bent the chipboard on the bottom that says, Blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. But that's all right. More, it'll make it visually more interesting, I guess, with a bend in the middle. So I go out and take out that picture. I put adhesive to the back of my uh, pic the new picture that I just reprinted. And I want to make sure that the yellow shows. So I go ahead and make sure that's correct, aligned correctly. And then I put the star back down. I go ahead and take off the chipboard that goes on the bottom. And I glue that down, again, using the Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive. Make sure that's on correctly. And then I think I'm done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.